Welcome to Visual Micro. Let's get everything set up. First, you'll need to install Visual Studio, which can be downloaded from the Microsoft website. There's a link in the top right and in the description. Once you've got that installed, we'll need to install the Visual Micro extension. Just to note, if you're using Visual Studio 2019, 2017 or Microchip Studio, you'll need to download Visual Micro from our website's download page and follow the installation instructions shown. There's a link in the top right and in the description. For Visual Studio 2022, we can install the extension from the gallery, so we just need to go to Extensions, Manage Extensions, and if you can't see it immediately, just search for Arduino, and you will see Arduino IDE for Visual Studio 2022. Simply click Install and wait for Visual Studio to show that it's ready to install. We can now close Visual Studio and the installation process will start automatically. When prompted, click Modify and the installation will complete. It will also install the Linux and Embedded Development with C++ workload as well. The Microsoft Linux and Embedded C++ workload is used by Visual Micro to provide accurate IntelliSense based on your project code, the selected platform and the libraries in use to give you much more accurate code hints and suggestions. While the rest of the software is installing, you might want to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos and don't forget to give us a like if you enjoy this video. Now we have Visual Micro installed, we need to start up Visual Studio and activate Visual Micro. Simply click on Extensions and then the vMicro menu and it will show the activation screen. The free 45 day trial can be started by clicking the Start Trial button. To activate a purchase license key after the trial has expired, simply enter the license key in the box shown and click the Activate Purchase Key button. Now we need to configure which IDE to use. The vMicro No IDE option is the quickest to set up as there is no need to install an Arduino IDE. Just to note, if you do want to use the older 1.6 or 1.8 Arduino IDE, you need to enter the location where it is installed in the box shown. The new Arduino 2 IDE is automatically detected once you've selected the option and clicked OK. We recommend you leave the other optional fields blank on the IDE location screen at this point, but these can be configured later as shown in the documentation in the top right. Now we can install our first board package using the Micro Explorer, which can be opened from the vMicro Micro Explorer button. No boards are shown on the Installed tab, so we can select the Board Manager tab and install one of the many packages automatically available. In this case, we're going to install the latest version of the Arduino AVR boards. And once we click OK, these will download and install. There's a pop-up at the end to install some drivers which will need admin permissions. And once that's completed, we can click the rescan button. So Visual Micro is aware of the newly installed boards. And then we can go to the installed tab and click on the board we'd like to use for our first project. So we can select the Arduino Uno. And then we can go and either open an existing Arduino project from File Open Arduino Project or we can create a new project from File, New, Arduino project. More about projects is shown in the next video in the top right. And we hope you enjoyed this video.